Hi. Now in the last part of this question we're told that x plus 3 is a factor of f of x and what I've done is from the earlier part we discovered that a was minus 20 so I've just filled that in here so we've got f of x now equal to x to the 4 plus 5x cubed minus 20x plus b. So given that x plus 3 is a factor of f of x then by the remainder theorem we would expect the remainder to be 0. So in other words, if I've got x plus 3, a being 3, it would mean that f of minus 3 must equal 0. Alright, so what I'm going to do is just say that therefore f of minus 3 must equal 0. So all I need to do is just substitute x is minus 3 into here and I should be able to work out b. So if we do that, we've got minus 3 to the power 4 plus 5 times minus 3 all cubed minus 20 times minus 3 plus b equals 0. So if you work out each of these terms what you should find you get is 81 and then we have minus 135 and then plus 60 and then plus b equals 0 and so therefore if we tidy the left hand side up you should find that you get 6 plus b equals to 0 and if we subtract 6 from both sides you end up with b equaling minus 6. Alright, so that is the end of this question.